Welcome everybody, I'm Marcus Ransom. I'm a technical delivery manager here at CompNow focused on Apple technology. Uh, I'm here today to talk about the amazing new M1 Apple Silicon that Apple has released, uh, which is using their own um, proprietary hardware inside the computers rather than the Intel boards that Apple have been using up until now. Now one of the benefits that we're seeing from this new technology is incredibly fast performance, especially on entry level devices. There's lots of information out there, especially from Apple, showing benchmarks of this performance. What we're going to focus on today is going to be the impact of these devices on the IT department, what you need to focus on to be able to benefit from the amazing performance. So some of the things that we need to look at on these devices how they actually perform with the applications that you're going to be using. So Apple has Rosetta 2 technology on these devices which allows it to emulate the Intel code. So Intel applications, applications written for the previous hardware, will generally run on these devices. But it's really important that you test this in your environment to make sure the way that you use these applications is still functioning the way that you need. Most of the developers are starting to release applications as universal two binaries, which means that they will run natively on the Apple Silicon. So keep an eye out there for any updates for any applications, especially beta versions of those applications and test them in your environment and provide feedback to the developers for anything that's not working. One of the other benefits that we're seeing on these devices is the battery life. Uh, because Apple now designs everything inside the machines, they've been able to squeeze amazing battery life out of these devices. So you're going to get a laptop being used constantly all day that won't need to be plugged in, especially in education environments or people who are working remotely um, out in the field. Um, this is going to be uh, a much better experience. Apple's released three versions of the um, Apple Silicon M1 at the moment. We've got a Mac mini desktop machine, We've got the MacBook Air and then a 13-inch MacBook Pro. Now, one of the really amazing things about the MacBook Air is that it doesn't have a fan in it. Video conferencing is something we've all been doing a lot of lately. And on the new Apple Silicon, especially the MacBook Air that doesn't have a fan, it's a very different experience. Uh, on previous Intel machines, you would notice the fan starting to spin up as you were using your favorite video conferencing application. And that's something that you don't see on the Apple Silicon, which shows the power that Apple has been able to build inside. So one of the great benefits of the Apple Silicon, because it uses the same technology that we find inside iPads and iPhones, is the ability to run iOS apps on your Mac. So if we have a look at the CompNow app that's designed for iPads and iPhones, we can see we can launch this natively on our Mac here. We can scroll through, we've got access to all of the features that we're used to using on our mobile devices. So if we head down to the App Store, we have a look, we can search for CompNow, but we're not gonna see iOS apps straight away. We've got this new feature here where we can choose between apps designed natively for Macs or over here we can see the iOS catalog. Now it's important to note that not everything that's available for iPhones and iPads is available for the Macs. The developers have to opt in. A lot of developers have found that it's not quite the user experience they want. Uh, other developers are really pushing in this di direction because they're finding that this is really beneficial to their customers and how they want to use their devices. It's also important to note that volume purchasing and MDM deployment of iOS apps to Macs is not currently available, but that's something that we're looking forward to seeing in the future. Let's talk about external display support. This has been something that a lot of people have been interested to find out about. Apple supports running the built-in display and a second external display on the portable machines, the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. The Mac Mini, not having a built-in display, is able to support two external displays. There are some third-party tools out there that allow you to run additional displays, but it's important to make sure that this works in your environment and with the tools that you're wanting to use them with. Thanks for watching. We've got some other videos where we're going to go into more detail on technologies such as deploying or reprovisioning Apple Silicon devices. We're also going to create more content as more functionality and features come to light. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out to CompNow. We'd love to help you work out how you can get these working in your environment.